everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do color changes. There are so many different ways that you can do these. The way I'm about to show you is the way I get the cleanest lines. So without further ado, let's get started. So I set up this little example just to show you how to do this. So if I wanted to change to blue right now, what I would do at the end of the round is we would slip stitch into the next one and then I finish it off so that means you cut the yarn and then tie it closed okay so then now you have this so then with your second color you would join in the stitch right next to where you just finished off so stick your hook in grab your second color Give it a little room for a tail, yarn over, chain one, and then you would single crochet into that stitch. And then this is the part that can get a little bit tricky, but the way I get the cleanest color change is to single crochet into this top part of the stitch right before where the knot is. So for this stitch, you can kind of see there's this section here and then this section down here. If you crochet into this top one, you get a cleaner line. And then this bottom one, this is all the same stitch. So that's how it can get confusing. You'll want to make sure you count your stitches. So I'm just going to single crochet into the top part. And then you skip this other part because that's part of the same stitch. So if you crochet into this one, you'll have too many. So you skip this one and crochet into the next, going over both of the tails. And you'll just go along and do some, whatever the next round of your pattern is. So then after you crochet a little bit, I like to go through and then you pull the tails tight and then kind of just shape it. And then you can either, you can make a tie here, you can cut them off, or you can just hide them inside your work, which is what I tend to do. So then after you have that, you would just keep on going. So then in my example, I have 16 here. So to double check you did everything correctly, you just go back and count your stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yep. So I'll just do one more round of this, that way when we do the color change for the pink to show you again, it won't be too close to what we just did. So as you can see, you know that color change looks pretty good. You can't really tell where we did that. So I'm just going to show you it one more time. You're at the end of your round, you're going to slip stitch into the next and then finish off. Then you're going to just tie it off. All right, so then you have this one. So the next step is going to be to join in the stitch next to where you just finished off. So you insert your hook, you take your second color, you give it a little bit of a tail, you yarn over, chain one, and single crochet in the same stitch. And this is the part that can get a little confusing, so I'll try to explain it a bit better this time. So this next one is one stitch, but there's two sections where you could possibly single crochet into. Depending on where you go, it'll affect the look of it. So the cleanest look is if you single crochet into this top part and then skip this one. You could also skip the top part and single crochet into here but it will give you a little bit of a dip into the previous color. So what you're going to do is single crochet into this stitch right next to your knot where you finished off. So you insert your hook, single crochet. And then this is the stitch that you're going to skip because it's part of the stitch where you finished off. So you skip this one single crochet into the next one and then from there you just keep on going with the rest of whatever pattern you're following so 
then after you've crocheted a little bit, I like to, again, pull the tails a bit tighter and stretch it out. And then again, you can either make a knot here, you can snip off these tails, or you can hide them inside the work, which is my preferred choice. So after all of that, you just keep on going around until you get back to the start of where you did your color change. And then once you get here, you'll want to make sure that you did everything correctly by counting your number of stitches. So mine was 16, so just go back and check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yep. So then again, you're just going to continue on with the rest of your pattern. And if you have any more color changes, you can do it the exact same way. So then again, if you were color changing again, you would repeat that whole process. If not, you finish off. But as you can see, it does get you a pretty clean line doing it this way. And again, there's so many different ways you can color change, but after trying out a whole bunch of different ways, this is what I find works the best for me. That's all I have for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!